love it. How you doing today? Happy, happy day. We are here with Life of Breathing. And guess what? You know what? Life is a gift and a blessing. You should know it by now. <laughs> okay, the lighting here is crazy. So I was going to go outside. It's raining. And I don't mind the rain, but my phone don't want it to get wet. So we'll see. Maybe the last few minutes I'll run out and jump out in the rain. Because uh, we're here Friday Confessions and anything happens. Anything goes, right? So I'm here live here in Connecticut, New England. It is Friday and... Again, we're live, so that's a blessing. So however you look at the day when it's raining, I look at it, you know, it's a beautiful day because we're here, we're live, we're breathing. And I look at the rain as a cleanse, as a renewal, as a refresh. Like the earth needs to be cleansed, like a baptism, right? Um, so when it rains, I'm like, okay, God's cleansing the earth from its impurities. So anyways, however you want to look at it, you know, how you ever perceive it because perception is key. In life we can like you know especially like a day like this rainy day I hear people say oh it's raining it's cold oh where's the Sun or to make the best of it and say okay you know what it's raining but it's a good thing it's raining because the earth is getting cleansed or you know I always put a positive spin on things so that's how I get through my days is being happy is <laughs> looking at the brighter things in life so anyways, my love, I wasn't going to talk about that. Kind of just actually going to talk about anything, everything goes, you know. Kind of almost like letting go. I was going to sing for you, like, let it go, let it go. Okay, I can still go longer. I practiced inside the bathroom and I was like, what the heck? Where's all that energy coming from? It's all my yoga and breathing meditations that I do. I'm telling you, my lungs, the capacity I could fill up, my oxygen is like expanded. So <laughs> I figure I'm going to start my Friday Confessions with that. I'm either going to scare you or you're going to stay to see what's next. <laughs> so I'm actually in the process. I'm working and learning how to, to be a speaker, a professional speaker. I know I've been practicing come on in here live, but it's so different talking in front of a camera versus like being on a stage or in front of an audience and having like eyeballs actually looking at people and seeing physical people staring back at me. <laughs> so I have the confidence, you know, I'm an entertainer. I, I like attention, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So I've been working on my, sig my signature talk and um, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this next chapter. I've kind of really honed in and really discover what is it that I need to do and focus and work on. And it's really working and perfecting my talk. And that's going to allow me to then start working and putting my book together. Because I have my book, in a sense. I've already put the content out there and published it through my Facebook videos, my live videos, all the talks that I've done. Now it's a matter of transcribing my videos, organizing them, kind of downloading what's the best of my talks, transcribing them, editing them, and kind of putting them into a compilation and see where that goes. So I'm just excited, you know, kind of trying to let go of the things that don't serve me. Let go of the things that don't serve me. I can't do anything about that, right? That's out of my control, that buzzing, beeping noise. Okay, the light. If I move, it changes. There you go. It's actually a green screen behind me. No, it's not, really not. <laughs> it's really the woods. I'm outside, you guys. Okay, next door neighbor, we got an oil truck coming in that time of year you gotta you fill your, your your tank you know unless you be freezing so what's I talk about so yeah I'm just kind of like excited you know in 2020 we're like the second month here and I'm kind of like knowing this is what I got to do so things that are not serving me and that are taking and consuming my time I gotta let go and even like coming on Friday confessions I love doing this and I want to do this but even before I get on it's the funniest thing you might deal with this in your life and that you know there's things you have to do. You gotta go to work, you gotta show up, you gotta cook, you gotta clean, you gotta do a project, you gotta do something, and there's those days where you're just like, okay, I know it's on my calendar, or I know I gotta go to work, and I just don't wanna do it. I just don't feel it, I'm feeling unmotivated, and I just don't wanna show up. And you know, it's easy to say, okay, no, but I've done this for so long that if I don't show up now for things that I commit to, commit to doing, I feel this guilt, like, oh my goodness, like, what am I doing, you know? it's. Life, the day is not the same if I don't show up and do my Friday confessions or I don't show up and do X, Y, Z. So I started feeling this resistance yesterday. Um, I work at the church once a week. It's simple. You know, I've been doing it for 11 years, going on 11 years. Uh, I'd be celebrating February 8th or 9th, 11 years at the church. And yes, I cleaned my church. 
and it's once a week, couple hours. But yesterday I was just feeling the like, the exhaustion that I'm just kind of getting burnt out. I'm getting tired. Have you ever felt that way that you're in a job, you're in a relationship, in a situation, and you just start feeling you're starting to feel burnt out, like you're coming to an end. You're hitting a dead wall, or hit dead wall. You're hitting a dead end. You're hitting that wall. And you just feel like you just don't want to do this anymore. You don't want to be in the relationship anymore. You don't want to be in the job anymore or whatever that situation is. And you're just kind of fighting with yourself and you can feel that resistance. And I was feeling that yesterday. And you know, and what helped me to get through that, because I was like, it was just kind of making me feel, putting me in a negative state of mind. Like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I just don't want to be here anymore. It's been 11 years. Like, I need to move on my life. You know, I want to do the things I really want to do. And that's get out in the world and speak and get on stages and write my book and put that together and just, you know, be that beacon of light for others and um, share a message of light, love, and hope. And and I had to come down like, okay, you know, think to myself, okay, I'm grateful I have a job. I have a job. And you know what? It's not so bad. It's the church. You know, my own terms, my own schedule. I can show up whenever I want. You know, I try to be committed Wednesday or Thursday, go clean the church and, um, and just, you know, I go in and just do it. But yesterday, I know I was trying to distract myself, going on social media. I'm like, okay, Stacey, stay focused. Plus I had a, I had a show after, so I really had to kind of make sure I finished on a certain time frame, but I could feel that resistance. It's like, oh, I don't, you know, I noticed what I'm vacuum cleaning. I think I don't like that because I don't use earbud, earbuds. And so I'm just like for an hour vacuum cleaning, listening to a loud vacuum cleaner. I'm just talking to myself in my head. But when I'm cleaning the bathrooms or doing other things besides vacuum cleaning, I could listen to a podcast. And then that makes, that brings a little more joy into my day. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm listening to this inspirational podcast. It's reminding me about being appreciative and appreciating being grateful for what I do have. So then I started thinking, okay, you know what? I'm thankful that I have this job. I'm thankful that I'm able to move my body to vacuum clean and to do the things I need to do. You know, so that's the thing is when we're feeling that feeling of like resistance or unmotivated, we have to look to the next positive thought and which is gratitude, appreciation for what we, what we do have. Because if we want and expect abundance in our life and we want more in our life, we want a better job or career, or more money or finances, better health, um, relationships, well, we have to be thankful what we have right now in that moment. And that helped me to like flip the switch. I always like to say that word, flip the switch in my mindset and start thinking, okay, you're not positive and just do what I have to do, finish the job and go on with my day. So, you know, a lot of it is like really just letting go of that resistance, letting go of what's not working in your life. And if you have the control, then make something happen. If it's out of your control and it's something you need to do. And like, I know, I'm sure most of us, have a job, right? Monday through Friday. I don't work a nine to five job, but I can feel you because I've been there. And you know, these little jobs I do have, I'm like, I'd rather like do 100% working on my speaking and my book. And one day that I will be doing that. And that's all I'll be doing. I'll be showing up doing live and talks and speaking and gigs and books and you name it. But in the meantime, to kind of ground myself to support myself, I have to do these other little jobs that I may not want to be doing now, but they are supporting me financially. So the same thing, you know, you probably don't like, want to get up Monday morning and you're looking, oh, I can't wait to the weekend already. But you know you got to go to work because you know you need to provide a income or a paycheck. You got to put food on the table. You got to put a roof over the house for yourself, your family, your children, or whatever. And we have to work. It's part of life. But my message, hopefully, that you got out of this in my experience is that think of it as a positive, that you have a job when others don't have a job. You have the ability to do what you have to do, whether you like it or not. And to try, try to be more appreciative and, gr and give thanks and gratitude that you have that job. And that that job allows you to provide a beautiful meal for your children or a home and warmth for your children and shelter. So if we can like think of the positive outcome in the situation that we're in, because I get, I feel you. Like even showing up for today, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll share and show an old video. But I'm like, oh, just do it, Stacey. Just show up. You're committed. It's on the schedule. You got to do it whether you like it or not. So it's not always about me motivated to do something like, yeah, I'm motivated. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to show up and be happy. Ha ha ha. Sometimes we just have to flip the switch and go to the next best um, or happy positive thought. And that is giving gratitude. And I think, and I know when I give gratitude for the things I do have for the job that I have that maybe I don't want to show up to, that makes it a lot easier. Instead of being resistant and fighting it, like, I don't want to be here. I hate my boss. I don't like this. I don't want to vacuum clean. It's so loud. Like, I don't want to travel an hour 
to go get here. Whatever that thought is that's just bringing you down and sucking the life out of you, just flip the switch and just think of how grateful you are for what you do have. And that will make it a lot easier. If you can do everything from a place of love, as I like to say, you know, do it from a place of love and joy, and it'll make your day go with flow. You'll have a more flow and easy, easy day to your day. And you will feel less stressed and anxious and anxiety and overwhelmed. Knowing that, look at the positive outcomes that this job or the situation allows you to afford. You know, and if you really can't, if you really can't stand your job or your relationships or your health, whatever that is, guess what? You have a choice to make it, to change that. Hello, Robert. What's up? What's up? A little chilly out here. <laughs> So you have a choice to change a circumstance. So like I know this is temporary, it's not gonna be forever. I'm working on my business, I'm grinding, I'm working on my signature talk, and I wanna put my book together, and then I know that things are gonna happen, because when you take steps to do the things that you really do want, then it's like, wow, whatever you're doing makes it a lot easier too. So that's why I'm hopeful. It's like, okay, you know, I don't wanna do this, I'm not gonna do this forever, because I have another plan. Now the key is, you need to have a plan or another goal or vision so, you know, I was talking to somebody on one of my Facebook, um, no, TikTok lives, and I was asking, you know, fear didn't exist. What would you want to do? And this person said, quit my job. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, why aren't you doing it? You know, because obviously you need the money, you need a job to survive. So that's the first thing, right? Okay, you know you don't like your job, you don't like the situation, you don't like the, the, the relationship that you're in, you don't like the body that you're in. Okay, those are things that you know, but what can you do? So while you work at a job that you don't really care to show up to, but in the meantime, give, be gratitude and be grateful that you have the job so you can afford to live the lifestyle that you've created for yourself to this point, start working on a goal or something that does bring you joy into your life. Call a side hustle, right? Start working on that on the side. Instead, whether it's training or school or education or reading books or going to groups and stuff, and start engaging yourself and putting yourself in that environment of what it is that you do want to do. You know, if you want to lose weight, get yourself in, in the gym. Get yourself in a group. Um, relationship, same thing, you know. Uh, strategize. It's, it's, we have to strategize a plan. <laughs> it's all mindset, even setting who you... Yes, exactly. So it's definitely mindset. And, um, but it's knowing and having the awareness of when things are not going right or you're not happy. To, okay, how can you change that mindset? How can you be happy? How can you flip the switch? And for me, it's really thinking positivity, being grateful. Like yesterday, like I was telling you earlier, if you're showing up now, I was telling my story that I work at my church for it's be 11 years, a couple days, anniversary. And I didn't think I was going to be there that long, honestly. You know, a couple years. And so I guess I was feeling frustrated that I'm still here 11 years doing this. And, you know, and I was feeling a little like bitter and resistant in myself. But then I started thinking, okay. I'm grateful I have a job. Stop complaining. You have a job, Stacy. You're cleaning God's house. Like, you know, well, it doesn't get any better than this. I can spend time with God, you know. But I was still contemplating because I'm like, well, I go to church every day. I want to come to church just to pray, not have to clean. So, you know, I was battling within myself till I let go and realized, okay, you know, I have a job. Show up and do this. It's not going to be forever. God, tr put, trust the process. And that's what I'm doing. Trust the process. God knows what my intention is in my heart. He knows what I want, so I just got to keep showing up, doing the things that I want to do, and maybe the things I don't want to do. But in the meantime, the things you don't want to do in life, this is my message, is to give thanks and be grateful for what it is that you do have and to appreciate it. So then you can allow and be open for abundance and for the things that you do want in the future or in your life. So with that said, my love, I don't want to keep going on because I keep repeating myself and, um, you know, get back to doing what we got to do. I got to plan and book a... Um, you know, look into maybe next weekend. It's Valentine's Day weekend, President slash President's Day weekend. It's a long weekend, so maybe do something um, for a night or two. You know, so that can get a little crazy too, because I have a daughter, and it's like trying to plan something. With my boyfriend, it's like really hard, because like I still have a sixteen-year-old at home. She's not driving yet. She has her driver's lesson or test next month, but she has a job now, and it's like if we leave, who's going to bring her to work? And then I don't want to cause stress on her. So it's like, you know, letting go some of the resistance, take a deep breath, letting go so the. Uh, things that are out of my control and work work with what I have so my love work with what you have be thankful be appreciative give gratitude for your health for your job for your life for your family your friends for the money that you do have now but if you want more write down what's the next step what do you need to do 
And then when you accomplish that side hustle or that other thing, then you can quit the job or you can move on or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be daring. Go outside. It's raining. Come on. Woohoo. Yay. Can you see me over here? Where? Here, I am. Here I am. I don't know if I, I can't see the camera. Oh, it's muddy. It's muddy. Okay. <gasps> can you see me? I can't see myself, so I don't know if you guys saw me, but I went outside. It was raining. So, oh, 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 and it's cold. I'm going to go have some, some hot water, maybe, and some honey. But, um, yes, yeah, so my message for you is to be thankful for what you do have. And, um, yeah, think positive, positive. And, and then make um, your dreams come true on the side. Start working on that high, high suckle, high suckle. Start working on that side hustle. I twist my words. I'm telling you, that's so weird. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Robert, for tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, and for everyone that's tuned in or joined me or watching the replay, let me know where you're tuning in from, if you're watching the replay. And um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that or want to share a story with me, feel free because I feel you. Life's not perfect. And we have those days where we don't want to show up and do shit. Like you just want to stay home, cuddle, and tur you know, turn the TV off or you know, turn off from social media and not show up. But I'm here. I did it. And um, it amazes me. I'm like, what am I going to talk about? And I'm like, just this is what I'm going to talk about because this is what I'm feeling right now. So express yourself. Love yourself. Go in the world. Share love. Make peace and be happy. And I'll see you guys soon. See you here for Mindset Monday. And you can follow me on Instagram and check out my Instagram stories, how I started my day today. Go follow me there. And I'm on TikTok. I'm doing a challenge 365 days of TikTok live every day. And I share some dancing and some fun. So with that said, I love you. Share the love. Bye.